I definitely talk a lot, but I can listen too. Hey family, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matt. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a Chain Family member, thank you. Guys, remember to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I very much appreciate every single one of you guys. Remember my Instagram is linked down below, so go check me out over there. And let's jump into this video. All right guys, you know I talk a lot, like a lot. That's why I have a YouTube channel. I enjoy, you talk a lot, I'm a social guy, definitely extroverted as heck. But today we're gonna talk about listening. I think listening is so important. Now I do talk a lot, but when I'm in a conversation, I do listen as well. I, I can, I'm good at that too. You know, I can talk, I can listen. I can do both sides. I definitely wanna get better. I like communicating with people. It fascinates me. I wanna be interested and interesting. There we go. Listening is so important for a few main reasons. These include, so your girlfriend doesn't get mad at you at dinner. So you know what time the party starts. So you know who's bringing in the coffee next Tuesday at work. So you know when that assignment's due. And when your mom tells you, you gotta do three errands, but you don't remember what they are. Awkward, but this all can be mitigated by listening. It's great, it's a great skill to learn. And we all can get better at it, including myself, because Lord knows I need to listen more. And I like to talk, I like to communicate, I like to do both sides, I wanna get better. There we go. In today's video, we're gonna go over a few techniques to learn how to improve our listening skills. It's gonna be so much fun, guys. Let's jump in. The first reason is have a purpose for listening. Why are you listening to this person? You must have a why behind it, just like starting a business, just like picking a career field or even going to pick up that cute new puppy like this one. You have to have a purpose behind listening. Why are you doing it? Why do you care? Answer that question always before you start listening. If you don't care, I guess you don't need to listen. But if it's somebody you truly care about or somebody that's interesting or you're interested in, therefore you need to have a purpose for why you're listening. That's number one, it's super simple, super clean have a purpose for why you're listening. Number two, resist getting distracted. This means don't go on your phone, don't go on your laptop, don't go on your iPad, don't go on your MP3 player, don't go on your iPod Nano. Do those still exist? I don't know, maybe. But just saying, don't get distracted. Give your full attention to the person that you are listening to. Number three, after they're done talking, take a few seconds to process what they said so you can come up with a good response. This is important because you don't wanna just start talking before you even thought about what they said. So process, think a second, take a minute, take a couple seconds, be like, okay, they said this. What was their main point? Why did they say this? And then you gotta say, okay, all right, you know, I'm thinking, you know, da, 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 da. All right, now I'm ready to respond to what they said with a purposeful, useful response in the conversation. So I think that's really just important for number three, just after they finish talking, Take a second, process, and then respond. Very simple. All these are super simple, but profound. What do I say always on this channel? The simplest things in life are the most profound, and if they're used correctly and they're implemented in your life, they can make huge changes. Number four, listen to the overall content and pick up any themes or trends that the person is saying. Themes and trends are so important in conversations because there's gonna be things that people say. So if they're gonna repeat things, what's important to them? Why are they saying it? For example, I was with a group of friends and I met a new guy and he was really cool. And he's had a couple themes and trends throughout his conversation. You know, leaders, he liked to talk about leadership. And he kept going back to this one particular book that he liked. That was a trend, that was a theme. He was talking about this book. He really liked this book. He wanted me to read the book. I thought that was cool, but I picked up on that and I kind of talked about leadership back and then we talked about a little bit of business. So we kind of chopped it up, it was great. But I picked up on why he was doing it, what he was doing, and his consistency. He was coming back to this one quote and I was like, oh, why do you like that quote? And he started to explain the quote. So just picking up the themes and the trends in the actual conversation is so important to the overall quality of the conversation because you'll figure out, okay, what do we like? Consistency. What are the consistent trends that this person is talking about like why are they talking about it? you know what i mean does that make sense just consistency having their trends and themes that they care about and what they're talking about number five this is really important reflect on what they said and make the content meaningful like what did it mean why did they say it do they care about it are they passionate about it do they want you to care about it is there something you're trying to sell you like why are they doing it why does it mean something to them that's really important because in the conversation you know are they what are they looking for but i think meaning and, and just content behind what they're saying is so important because meaning behind anything 
like purpose. Why are they saying it? Why do they care? Like what, what's their end game? Think about at the 10,000 foot view of like what they're trying to do and kind of dissect it and be like, all right, this is what they're meaning. Like why do they mean it? Like why do they care? There you go. It's kind of simple, straightforward. But like I said in this video, like a lot, basically, you know, the little things are important because just because it's simple, that usually is the best things they are profound. So therefore just finding meaning behind what they're saying and why they're saying it is so important in active listening. So guys, to wrap up, active listening is so important because it helps you find the meaning and purpose behind what they're saying, why they're saying it, what they're saying, if it's meaningful, why do they care about it? Consistency, trends, themes about the, through the conversation, all important key points to just look for when you're active listening, because then you're going to learn more. You know what I mean? If you actually care. And also remember, put that on the phone, no computer, no iPad mini, no iPad nano, no iPod touch. I don't even know those exist anymore. But guys, just pay attention, put your phone down, be present in the conversation because I think that's a lot of a lot of issues in our society come from just being on our screens too much. It's a whole different story for a whole another video. If you can put your screen down, give the person your full attention and care about what they're saying, what's the meaning behind it, why are they saying it? It's it's a great step to becoming a better active listener because that's going to help you in the business world. It's going to help you in relationships, it's going to help you with your parents, it's going to help you in sports, it's going to help you in any setting that you want to do, anything you want to be successful at. Communication is the literally key to a lot of things in life. You can't communicate with somebody, you know, how are you going to get anywhere? How are you going to make a deal? How are you going to make a contract? How are you going to get a salary raise? How are you going to negotiate? Anything. Negotiation, conflict management, all done through communication. Important in communicating and listening. Those two skills are so important because if you can be coachable, you can listen, you can communicate with somebody, you're going to be ahead of the game because most people can't do that and articulate your sentence correctly. It's really important and it's a skill that we can all learn. And I can learn, I need to get a lot better at it too. I'm decent, but I have a lot of room for improvement in all areas. And I'm excited because you know I'm so young and the best version of myself is way out there and I'm gonna chase that to the end. But yeah, active listening guys, great skill to learn. All right guys, remember like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do all that fun stuff for me. I very much appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are all, you guys are amazing. Grateful that you took the time out of your day to watch this 10, 15 minute video. Very grateful for you guys. And I hope it brought you value. That's the point, active listening is important. We went over why it's important. I want you guys to implement that into your own conversations, into your own relationships, into your own personal lives, and it'll help you tremendously. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Remember to continually work to become the best version of yourself, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.